Good afternoon, Mark. My name is Austin. I'm a salesman here at Mercedes-Benz of Manchester. And thank you so much for your interest in our 2019 C300 Coupe design. As you can see, this vehicle is a beautiful black color. In the front, we have the LED headlights as well as the glow up Mercedes-Benz emblem in the front here. Moving around to the side, we have the 19 inch five-spoke Mercedes-Benz rims. This vehicle has the 4MATIC, so you have all-wheel drive. Taking a look at the side mirror, each side mirror is auto-folding, dimming, and if you look in the bottom corner there, there's a little triangle. That's going to work as your blind spot detection. Now, this vehicle also has the keyless go package, which allows you to lock and unlock the door by placing your hand on the outside and inside of the door handle with the key in your pocket. Moving around to the back, You'll see the sloping roof line in the rear end of the vehicle here. Now, for the rear view camera, that's actually going to flip right out from this Mercedes-Benz emblem in the back here. This vehicle also has the Parktronic package with surround view camera. That's going to include two more cameras on either side view mirror and one camera on the front grille piecing together a top-down surround view of your vehicle while you're parking. Now to open the trunk, pop that open there, give you an idea of the cargo space you have in the back here. You can fold down those rear seats using this switch here and this switch here. You also have, if you fold this up, a little bit of extra cargo space down below there. And as you can see, you also have a little cargo cover here that folds out. To close the trunk, simply press that button. It'll do so automatically for you. Moving around to the passenger side, I'll open up the rear door to show you the beautiful black MB Tex interior. Now those back seats are 40, 20, 40 splitting. So you can fold down just that center seat if uh, you need to pass through to the trunk area. Moving inside the vehicle, first we'll take a look up at the sunroof that this vehicle has. You do have a manual shade here that you can close. Now looking down, we'll first take a look at the center console. Open that by the push of that button there. You can see you have a little bit of space in there as well as two USB ports. Now moving forward, we'll take a look at the control panel. Now this vehicle comes with the touchpad as well as dial to control the infotainment screen. This vehicle has the multimedia package which comes with navigation and map updates for three years. You also get six months free of Sirius XM radio. Back to the control panel here we have the dynamic select switch that's going to allow you to change from any of the five drive modes in this vehicle. As you can see, you have individual, sport plus, sport mode, comfort mode, and eco mode. Now looking in front of that, we have this little compartment here. Open that up and you have two cup holders inside. You can also lift out the cup holder insert here if you just want a little storage space. Above that compartment, we have our quick menu buttons as well as CD player. Simply press any of these buttons to go to those following menus. Above that, we have our controls for the climate control. There are two zones in this vehicle, one for the front passenger and one for the driver. Now this vehicle does have push to start. Right now the button is not inserted, so we have just the key inserted in there to turn the vehicle on. Moving to the steering wheel, behind the steering wheel we have two paddle shifters. You're going to pull either of those if you want to manually change gear, which you can do at any time. Looking here at the steering wheel on the right side, you have a couple buttons here. One to raise and lower the volume, as well as mute the volume. A couple buttons to answer and hang up phone calls, and one to activate your voice control. 
On the left hand side of the steering wheel, you have a couple of buttons that are going to allow you to change the setting screen on the center of the gauge cluster directly in front of the steering wheel here. As you can see, you can toggle through a couple different menus to be displayed on that screen. Now, on the left side of the steering wheel here, we have a few buttons. One to turn on the 360 degree camera, which is shown on the screen now. You have a few different views that you can toggle through. Now next to this button on the left side of the steering column, there's also a little button that you can press to turn on and off the parking sensors. There are parking sensor sensors on the front and rear end of the vehicle that will beep when you're parking and getting too close to certain objects or certain vehicles. Now looking to my left, this vehicle does have some switches here to change your seat position as well as three memory modes. You have heated seats for the front seats. And if you look here, you can see we have the beautiful Burmester sound system. Thank you so much for watching, Mark. Again, my name is Austin. If you have any additional questions, you can contact me at 603-669-6788. My extension is 220-211. You can also email me at alunt at driveprime.com.